Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Amy from Neurotic Mom Bakes, and today is the best day ever because number one, it's Christmas Eve. Um, for some of you, it might even be Christmas morning. Um, number two is I, this has been so hard, I don't know why. It's a basic chocolate chip cookie, but to get the perfect one, Boy, did I have a lot of trial and error with this one. Um, I scoured the internet and just kind of just looked and compared different recipes and they're all basic same ingredients, right? Butter, flour, sugar, eggs, stuff like that. But there were so many variations, like do I melt the butter first? Do I keep it cold? Is it unsalted butter? Should I use salted butter? Baking soda versus baking powder, or a little bit of both. There just were so many factors. Some recipes called for chilling for two hours. Some wanted to chill for 24 to 48 hours. I'm not a fan of chilling dough, especially chocolate chip cookies, because when you're in the mood for cookies, you want them now. You don't want to make them and eat them tomorrow, because yeah, you want chocolate chip cookies now. So I have tweaked and tweaked and tweaked again and again. <laughs> so many times I can't even count to get the perfect consistency, the perfect flavor, perfect texture for this just, you know, basic chocolate chip cookie, everyone's favorite. So, Merry Christmas, my gift to you, perfect chocolate chip cookie. All right, let's start. So, I am going with salted butter. You can use unsalted butter, I have tried this. Um, salted butter just adds a little bit more flavor. Um, I am not melting my butter. In fact, I want it slightly cold. Not cold from the fridge, but not melty at all. So I'm gonna put this in the defrost in the microwave just until I can barely, barely press my finger into it. Barely, barely soft. Now in here I have two thirds of a cup of granulated white sugar, and then I need three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Packed brown sugar. There's a half and a quarter. The other thing is, is I like my hand mixer better. I just have more control over how much things get mixed, which is also very important. Now, to get this butter to incorporate just right and easier is I will kind of cut it up into like eight chunks. This is a half a cup of salted butter. I'm gonna use my hand mixer. This takes a minute but you wanna get it until it's fully combined. All the butter is combined with the sugar. Again, this just takes a minute more because that butter was kind of cold, but it's worth it. Trust me, you want the colder butter. All right, I think we're about there. Just starts to come together. There we go. It just has come together. You cannot see any chunks of butter at this point. We will add one egg and two teaspoons of vanilla. Now here's an important step in this is don't overmix the egg. That will make for a stiff cookie. Just get it until it's just barely creamed together. There we go, that's where I want it. Let's talk about measuring flour. There are lots of different ways to measure flour. You can scoop it, um, you can weigh it. However, the best, most accurate way is to kind of fluff your flour with a spoon and then spoon it in. And that's what I'm going to do for this recipe. I need two cups of flour, because if you kind of pack it in there, you're gonna have more flour than you, than you want, and it's going to make a dry cookie. Two. Okay, now in this recipe, I'm going to use baking soda and baking powder. So baking soda, they are not the same thing, not even close. Baking soda will make the cookie spread a little bit more, which you want, you want it to spread a little bit. Baking powder will give it some rise and make it fluffy. Um, so we're going to do a half a teaspoon of each of those. Baking powder and baking soda, this is my half. And a half a teaspoon of salt. 
Okay. This, you do not want to over mix. You want to get it just mixed. You'll see it'll be like a crumbly texture. Okay, that looks really dry, right? Very crumbly, very dry. That's what I want. Because here is my secret. You're going to add one tablespoon of milk. Two if it's really dry. Maybe you over measured your flour just a little bit, but one tablespoon of milk. It'll just start to come together. That's what I'm looking for. Stop right there, because you're gonna do the rest by hand, but you can see it just start to come together. You can handle it, but it doesn't stick to your fingers. Now we add the good stuff. Um, after all this work, use a high quality chocolate chip. I have the Ghirardelli. Just, I mean, you don't have to, but it really does make a lot of difference. Um, you can add nuts, you can add white chocolate chips, you can add butterscotch chips, peanut butter chips, whatever you like. You can get like a really nice candy bar, like a symphony bar, and chop that up. That would be really good. I have done that before when I ran out of chocolate chips. I think we're maybe a few more. Okay, now the beautiful thing about this is you do not have to chill. When a dough calls for chilling, I'm, I'm out, especially chocolate chip cookies. Now we're ready to uh, scoop them onto my tray. I like to use an ice cream scoop. You just get a nice round portion and they're all equal, um, but totally feel free to get your spoon and, and spoon it onto here. You can do a greased cookie sheet or use parchment paper. I like parchment paper because you can reuse it three or four times and then you're, you don't have to clean the pan. Just because I can't stand when my cookies run together or touch each other when they start to bake, I'm only going to do eight, but they're going to be nice, big cookies. And I'm actually going to, after I do that, I'm going to kind of shape it a little bit more round and place it exactly where I want it so they don't run together. And sometimes if it looks like it needs more like chocolate chip, I'll stick another one in there. A little bit more dough on this one. These will go into a 350 degree oven for about 9 to 11 minutes. Now here's the other trick. You want to take them out just a hair before they look done. If you take them out when they look baked all the way through, you've overdone it and they're gonna be too crispy because they continue to cook on the cookie sheet. So when they're just barely still wet in the center, take them out and just like the tiniest hint of color on the outside, take them out. Okay, there it is. My perfect chocolate chip cookie. At least this is how I like them. They're just thick enough, just chewy enough full of chocolate chips, just barely brown on the edges, and the flavor, that salted butter, just makes all the difference. That is so good. So, I wanna know what you think. I want you to give this a try. Give me some feedback. Let me know how you like it and how it compares to your chocolate chip cookie recipe that you normally make. And then if you wanna see more content and tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel.